My second topic is combined online shorting and TFCC phobia repair. Anna infection syndrome can happen with the acquired Anna positive variants caused by distal radius malunion, and it can be caused by ligament injuries as well. The dynamic nature of Anna infection syndrome can be demonstrated by pronated grip view like these radiographs. The association between central band and positive honor variance was well documented by Dr. George Obey with the parallelogram effect. But I strongly believe that the TFCC injury comes first before central band is torn. I always found the patient with TFCC tear has more positive honor variance on the injured side rather than the unaffected side. But the relationship between TFCC tear and ana infection has, has not been fully uh, understood. We only discussed that the TFCC tear is a result of ana infection, but uh, I think TFCC foveal tear may be a cause of ana infection. Palmer classified the TFCC tear as traumatic and degenerative, but in reality, it's very difficult to differentiate uh, between those two uh, in the arthroscopic findings. Sometimes we found complex tear patterns with the center perforation and the foveal tear simultaneously, but it's been very difficult to explain what happened on the TFCC. But I postulate that the phobia tear is the cause of ana infection syndrome and the center perforation is the result of ana infection syndrome. I think ana infection syndrome and TFCC tear are closely related to each other, but uh, their physical examination and stress test are totally different. Diagnosis of ana infection syndrome rely on the physical examination. Patients usually have a tenderness around the lunar tracheotrum area and the anastyloid area in, in case of the anastyloid infection syndrome. And uh, we need to do some provocative tests such as ana kappa stress test. Differentiation between onocarpal infection and onocarpal infection is important because we only do a simple procedures such as onocarpal resection for the onocarpal infection patient. To differentiate these two disease entities, stress test in different form rotation is very useful. In my experience, on a carpal infection patient usually have positive stress test in supinated position and on a styloid infection patient usually have a positive stress test in pronated position. Diagnosis of the TFCC phobia tear is rely on the physical examination as well. The patient usually have a tenderness around the phobia area which is very sensitive and we can do pro provocative measure such as DLUJ stress test. We need to do DLUJ stress test in supinate and pronated position to find which part of the TFCC was torn. The two most common reasons for failure of primary arthroscopic wrist surgery is the unrecognized dynamic ulnar infection and the persistent distal venial joint instability. To solve these two problems, either ulnar shortening osteotomy or TFCC repair has to be done as simple debridement has little value. That brought me two questions. Question number one. Can the ulnar infection symptoms be disappeared by TFCC phobia repair alone? This 29-year-old male patient 
uh, had a more positive on a variance on the TFCC tear site compared to the uninjured site. On a variance was reduced after TFCC four-wheel repair, but it went back to the previous preoperative status uh, at the last follow-up. And the same thing happened after on a shortening osteotomy. I recently published a paper on changes in on a variance after TFCC tear, and what I found is that the on a variance is always went back to the preoperative status. I think that is the reason why some patients with uh, on a infection symptoms are not resolved by TFCC four-wheel repair alone, and those patients need subsequent on a shorting procedure. The question number two, can the DRJ instability be disappeared by on a shortening procedure alone? Dr. Hisao Moritomo claimed the importance of this oblique bundle of the intosis membrane, and uh, it can be tightened up after on a shortening procedure in the diaphysis. But I think TFCC is more important than this oblique bundle because TFCC is stronger than the this oblique bundle, and this oblique bundle is was found only 50% of the population, and the TFCC has to be injured first before DOB is torn. This video demonstrates a patient with a severe distal radial ulnar joint instability. Although we did the diaphysia ulnar shortening, the allergy instability still remains. So I think we cannot differentiate the, the superficial versus deep fiber tear or DOV versus TFCC tear. So we should only focus on the whether the tear is the partial versus complete, which can be demonstrated by the physical examination only. So if both DLUJ instability and ona infection symptoms exist in the same patient, both ona shortening and TFCC phobia repair may be needed. Combined ona shortening and the TFCC phobia repair was first described by Thomas Trumbo in 1997. But this procedure is not popularized because diaphysia on a shortening procedure has several complications. So doctors like Frank Unglap told that the arthroscopic repair should be recommended first. And if on a carpal symptoms persist, the on a shortening can be done. However, Combined TFCC injury was reported in 70% of the patient, and uh, among them, TFCC repair was needed in 26% of the patient. In my experience, TFCC phobia repair was needed in 48% of the patients, so I think I cannot do this as a sequential procedure. From the beginning of my career, I've done the combined on a shortening diaphysia on a shortening procedure and the DRJ stabilization procedure by using free tendon graft in one incision. Now I do arthroscopic TFCC phobia repair and metaphysia on a shortening osteotomy simultaneously. This is what it looks like after on a shortening and TFCC phobia repair. After metaphysia on a shortening osteotomy, TFCC phobia repair can be done with open or arthroscopic manner. Nowadays, I prefer to do arthroscopic TFCC phobia repair for most of the patients. Interference of screws and suture anchor can be avoided with the sophisticated uh, surgical technique. So in conclusion, if a patient has an uh, impaction syndrome and TFCC phobia tear with instability, 
the patient may need a uh, on eye shortening osteotomy and the TFCC phobia repair simultaneously. Thanks for your attention.